Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the deflection of beam. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the maximum deflection of different types of the beam according to the different loading condition. And deflection of beam is very important to understand because during designing the deflection of the beam should always be listing the deflection provided by the different codes. If our deflection of beam is greater than the deflection provided by the codes, so we should strengthen our beam by increasing the cross section of the beam. That's why we should know that how to determine the deflection of the beam. For the different types of the beam that are most commonly used is the cantilever and simply supported beam. We have some formulas for to find out the deflection of beam. For example, these three are the cantilever beams while the two are the simply supported beam. These three cantilever beam will change the deflection according to the loading condition. Let's suppose I put the load P here. Let's suppose this any concentrated load of magnitude P and this is the length of this beam represented by L. So due, due to this pointed load acting at the free end of the beam, it will show deflection like in this way. like in this dotted way. So the maximum deflection will be at the free end because here there is no support. So we can write it here that it will show the delta maximum. So the delta maximum for such beam when it is cantilever beam and the load is acting only at the end of the beam at the free end of the beam. So the maximum deflection for such type of the beam will be PL cube divided by 3 EI. Now, what are these terms? P is the load acting on this beam. We can put the magnitude of P here in this formula. The length L is the length of this beam, the total length of the cantilever beam, and to the power of tube dividing by 3, which is a factor, and E is the elasticity of this beam, either it is a steel beam or concrete beam. According to this, we should put the elasticity of the beam. And I is the moment of inertia of this beam. If this beam, let's suppose, is a rectangular beam, then we should know this the width and this is the height of the beam. So we can find out the moment of inertia for this beam is bh cube divided by 12. So we should find we should find out all these factors and put in this formula so we can find out the maximum deflection of the cantilever beam when the load when the concentrated load acting at the free end of the beam. So similarly, if there is a uniformly distributed load acting on the cantilever beam of magnitude of W, which is a uniformly distributed load, and if this is the length of the beam L, so we can find out that the maximum deflection for such type of beam, it will also be like in this way, because there is no support so here it will show the maximum deflection. So we can directly find out by this formula WL power 4 divided by 8 EI where W is the uniformly distributed load on this cantilever beam. L is the length of this beam. 8 is the factor. EI is the elasticity of the beam and I is the moment of inertia. So by knowing this formula we can easily find out the maximum deflection in this beam and then we can check with the deflection provided by the codes. The third cantilever beam when the load acts at any distance of P. Let's suppose this is a magnitude of P load acting on this cantilever beam and this load acts at a distance of A and this total length is L. So when the load is acting at a different position other than the free end so then the maximum deflection formula for the cantilever beam will be different. So it will be P A square into 3 L minus A divided by 6 E I. It is very simple. We just know the magnitude of the load P acting on this beam. The A is the distance from the left end to the point where the load is acting. L is the total length of this cantilever beam. A is again the distance, this distance and these are the same factors. So by putting all these 
values into this formula, we can find the maximum deflection for this cantilever beam when the load is acting at a different position other than the free end. Now, if we look into the simply supported beam and the load is acting at the center of the simply supported beam P, magnitude of P is a concentrated load and this L is the total length of the beam, let's suppose, so it will show the maximum deflection at the middle. This will be the maximum deflection for this beam. So this maximum deflection we can find out for the simply supported beam by this formula PL cube divided by 48 EI. Similarly, P is the concentrated load acting at the center of this beam. This load should always be acting at the center of the beam because this formula is derived for the load acting at the center of the simply supported beam. L is the total length, 48 is a factor in EI is, are the geometric properties of this cantilever of the simply supported beam. So by this formula we can find out the maximum deflection which will be at the center of the simply supported beam. Now when the same beam is loaded by uniformly distributed load of W, so now it will also show maximum deflection at the mid span of the beam here. But now the formula for such type of beam with a uniformly distributed load will be 5 WL power 4 dividing by 384 into EI. So this EI is constant in all these formulas. But only we should remember these factors. These factors are mostly changing in each formula. So this, this is the way how to find out the maximum deflection for different types of the beam according to the different loading condition. While these five are very important in our daily use. For other types of beam, we should derive the formula for the maximum deflection. And I will also show you that how we derive these formulas for each type of beam, but not in this lecture. I will upload a separate lecture for this to find out the deflection of beam for any type of loading in it, any type of the beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.